Recently discharged JFK records demonstrate the CIA participates in false banner fear-based oppression on United States soil intended to threaten American nationals and persuade them that new laws repressing flexibility and freedom are important to advance security inside the nation and battle remote boogeymen. These affirmations are some of many uncovered in recently uncovered government archives identified with the death of President John F. Kennedy. CIA Mafia Endeavored Deaths of Cuban President Fidel Castro Somebody called the FBI undermining to kill Lee Harvey Oswald daily before Oswald's murder. Also, the U.S. analyzed disrupting plane parts making a beeline for Cuba. CBS Miami reports, following a due date 25 years really taking shape. The National Archives on Thursday evening discharged a crowd of JFK records. President Donald Trump obstructed the arrival of a few records at any rate incidentally, referring to national security concerns, leaving analysts, intrigued scholars and intrigued spectators 52 already unreleased full archives and thousands to some degree to filter through. Here are a portion of the features from that drove up until this point. Undermining plane parts a National Security Board report from 1962, before Kennedy's murder, referenced Operation Mongoose, an undercover endeavor to topple socialism in Cuba. In the minutes of a mystery meeting on Operation Mongoose from September 14, 1962, General, Marshall, Carter said that the CIA would analyze the conceivable outcomes of attacking plane parts which are booked to be transported from Canada to Cuba. CIA Mafia Plot on Castro A 1975 report from the Rockefeller Commission itemizing the CIA's part in remote death said plans to kill Castro were embraced in the beginning of the Kennedy Organization. The report said Attorney General Robert Kennedy, the president's sibling, told the FBI he took in the CIA employee to go between to approach Sam Giacana with a suggestion of paying $150,000 to enlist some shooter to go into Cuba and slaughter Castro. The lawyer general said that made it difficult to indict Giacana, a Sicilian-American mobster. Lawyer General Kennedy expressed that the CIA ought to never attempt the utilization of Mafia individuals again without first checking with the Department of Justice since it is hard to indict such individuals later on, the report peruses. The report additionally said the CIA was later inspired by utilizing mobsters to convey a toxic substance pill to Castro so as to murder him. Amid Operation Mongoose in 1960, the CIA likewise considered arranging fear occasions in Miami and reprimanding it on professional Castro Cubans. We could build up a communist Cuban fear crusade in the Miami region, in other Florida urban areas and even in Washington. We could sink a boatload of Cubans en route to Florida, genuine or recreated. We could cultivate endeavors on lives of Cuban outcasts in the United States even to the degree of injuring in cases to be broadly announced. Detonating a couple of plastic bombs in painstakingly picked recognizes, the capture of a Cuban specialist and the arrival of arranged records substantiating Cuban contribution likewise would be useful in anticipating the possibility of a flighty government. The FBI got a passing risk on Oswald the day preceding his murder. A report dated November 24, 1963 indicated FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover tending to the passing of Oswald because of Jack Ruby. There is nothing further on the Oswald case aside from that he is dead, Hoover starts. Hoover said the FBI's Dallas office got a call from a man talking in a quiet voice, saying he was an individual from a board of trustees to execute Oswald. He said they squeezed the Dallas head of police to secure Oswald, however Ruby was by and by ready to execute the shooter. Ruby says nobody was related with him and denies having influenced the phone to call to our Dallas office the previous evening, Hoover said. Hoover went ahead to state the FBI had proof of Oswald's blame and catches of Oswald's interchanges with Cuba and the Soviet Union. He said he was worried there would be question in the general population about Oswald's blame and that President Lyndon Johnson would delegate a commission to examine the death. Passing fault for an overthrow in South Vietnam a best mystery archive from 1975 for the Rockefeller Commission traces the declaration of previous CIA director Richard Helms. In the transcript, 
Helms said he thought previous President Richard Nixon trusted the CIA was in charge of the passing of South Vietnamese President Ngo Dinh Diem, who kicked the bucket following an overthrow connected to the CIA. There is positively no proof of this in the organization records and the entire thing has been, I mean rather, what is the word I need, warmed by the way that President Johnson used to circumvent saying that the reason President Kennedy was killed was that he had killed President Diem and this was simply, equity, Helms said. Rudders included, where he got this from, I don't have the foggiest idea. The statement proceeds with him being inquired as to whether Oswald was in some way a CIA specialist or an operator, before the record cuts off. A firmed Cuban intel officer said he knew Oswald. A link from the FBI in 1967 cited one man jesting Oswald probably been a decent shot. The claimed Cuban officer returned, goodness, he was very great. Inquired as to why he said that, the officer stated, I knew him. Soviets said executing was a sorted out scheme. FBI Director Hoover sent a reminder to the White House in 1963, soon after Kennedy's demise. The update, acquired by the Church Committee and ordered best mystery, point by point U.S. sources feeling of the response in the USSR to Kennedy's passing. As indicated by our source, authorities of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union accepted there was some efficient scheme with respect to the ultra-right in the United States to impact an upset, the reminder said. They appear to be persuaded that the death was not the deed of one man, but rather that it emerged out of a painstakingly arranged crusade in which a few people had an influence. The source said the Soviet authorities guaranteed no association amongst Oswald and the USSR and portrayed him as a psychotic shooter. CIA captures call from Oswald to KGB. A CIA update from the day of Kennedy's death sketched out a CIA catch of a call from Oswald, at that point in Mexico City, to the Russian international safe haven in Mexico. Oswald addressed the representative, Valery Vladimirovich Kostikov, a distinguished KGB officer in broken Russian. The update's creator said he was told by the FBI's contact officer that the authority trusted Oswald's visit was to get help with an identification or visa.